Hello friends, my name is Shrine and it's time for more Blush Blush. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what other kind of games you want me to play. But here we go, with the phone flings. Alright, let's start off with Ferris today. See what he has to say, any more surveys to take? I would ask you the last question of the survey. If you reply, then you'll be eligible for our special reward. I'm gonna make sure it's extra special today. Oh, he did ask if you kind of liked him, so he's probably gonna send a picture. Have you enjoyed your customer service experience today? <laughs> Solid nine needs more Ferris. Yes. I'll say it needs more Ferris. That's silly, but fun. But he said he's gonna be real human now, so. <laughs> I'm going to post a review on Patricia's cubicle. Suck it, Patricia. Thanks for taking this survey from Corp Corp. You're welcome. Where, once again, I'd like to mention our motto is We Give a Crop. And for completing the survey, I'm pleased to provide you with a gift. In nine minutes. All right, Ferris, you're going to make me wait. That's fine. I'm scared of Reese's. Please find clothes, please. Find a full outfit. That would be cute, okay? I use Professor Tenement's shell to reflect the Shimpanant's gaze attack. That stunned the Shimpanant long enough for me to reach 88 miles per hour and act activate the coconuts. Also, I hit my head, so some of this is kind of confusing. Oh no, Reese is injured. Are you okay? Is Professor Tenement okay? Once more, a series of bad choices always inevitably leads to the right one. Uh... Are you okay? You don't sound too good. I am pretty good. Professor Timna is tending to my wounds. He's fine. Sturdy got him. The turtle's tending to your wounds? Okay. Anyway, you'll be pleased to hear that I found the Nudon. It was on the volcano. That's good to know. I'm not quite sure what that is, but good for you. And the volcano, it turns out, was an illusion caused by intersection of cosmic rays on a hot air balloon. See for yourself. Okay. I got pictures. He still doesn't have enough clothes for me. Okay, I might just show the top of that one because the way he's sitting. Alright. <laughs> Normally I would be burning in a horrible demise, but not today. <laughs> not, not today, yeah. Your life could definitely be a TV series with a decent British it could go far. <laughs> it could go very far. Intergalactic time travel space TV show number eight. Strangely enough, you're not the first to say so. I'm not? Who have you talked to already? Alright, I got the nude on back. I have a spare change of clothes on board and Professor Tim is ready. Oh, you do have clothes. I guess it's goodbye, at least for now. In case I wasn't super clear on this, I had a wonderful time with you in my corner. Oh, that's kind of sweet, Reese. Would you ever be interested in a rendezvous? Should I ever find myself this side of the central finite curve again? Please, yes. I can help battle monsters and capture creatures that lots of experience. In video games? I should hope so. What good is time travel if you can't use it for a callback? Yeah, I'll help you with your battle. Got that EXP going? Oh really? Fascinating, I'd love to hear more. In the meantime, I return to the stars. You're going back to space? I'm so grateful for the plot device for introducing us. Until we meet again. Hi Reese, be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Much love and adventures, Reese. Aw, oh, Reese is over. Alright, that's cute. And we have Poe left. Hey, sorry for the dead silence. Passed out. Not off my bed. Two days without sleep makes for an abrupt conversation. Not gonna lie, it was needed. So that's why you sent weird photos or acting weird, tossed it out of your phone and didn't understand anything when I said I was not your phone. That's why you did not sleep. You were working on that paper too much. 
College is hurting you. <laughs> no bumps or bruises? Thankful for the nap, but you didn't injure yourself, yeah? Kinda passed out. Just the usual emotional scars. Oh, and I hit my funny bone. Oh no, that sucks. I landed safely in a pile of books. Sounds like that might actually hurt a bit. The only real fallout were the dreams. Lots of weird dreams last night. Some nice, some not so nice. <laughs> Here to elaborate. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who had a mind to disagree? <laughs> Lame, but I had to finish that. I'll tell you about some of them though. Okay, thank you. Yes, that's it. Book's trying to devour me. Well, you did fall on them. Fictional crushes coming out of the books. Poetry, tra poetry chasing its own tail. A person with a phone for a face. Ugh, utter nonsense. I need to stay away from caffeine for a few days. Fictional crushes? Phone for face sounds like it could be a metaphor for... Talking to me? Maybe? Not drinking coffee with maple syrup for bed. <laughs> what? Not put syrup in my coffee before. Dreams are dumb and utter madness. Which means they can be fun, but you probably shouldn't dwell on what they mean. You're nosy, by the way. And stop talking to me. I like it, though. Speak your mind. Oh, he likes that I'm nosy. Okay. Actually, perhaps you could help me out a bit. I'm not writing that paper for you. There's this book that we're reading, and we have to analyze the main romance. So, I hate it. So much hate. You don't like romance, Poe? Main character is this annoying, brooding moron who can't see that the other person likes them. Romantic interest is this bubbly, helpful idiot who sticks around and deals with morons' personality defects. So you hate the main character or you hate the love interest? I feel like you kind of hate the main character. Uh, you probably hate them both. Probably both. For different reasons. Of course I do. They're a stereotype. They have no depth. Just a poor me, life sucks character. My point is that there is no way this could work. Your fantasy. My professor loves this garbage. Thinks it's literally gold. We've been studying this all semester. Frankly, I don't even know why she's teaching us at all. She's a science teacher who moonlights as an English teacher? Oh! Really? I think you're projecting. Maybe you're jealous of the main character? Yeah, maybe just a bit. Just a bit jealous, Poe. Of what? The relationship to the love interest? Maybe? Jealous that they found someone so perfect to deal with their drama? People like me don't get people like that. Like them. Darn autocorrect. Oh, darn. Wrong. Okay. Epiphanies suck. <laughs> what I'm hearing is you actually do in what I'm hearing is that you actually do it actually enjoy it, but you don't want to admit it. Now you're being drawn yourself. I like you just fine. No drama. 
You don't have all that drama and people accepting it. Just be happy. Yep, yeah, you sound like the love interest. Uh, no. I really hope you're intentionally making a point here. Otherwise, this whole thing just got a bit too meta for my liking. How's that expression go? If you see jerks everywhere you go, then you're probably the jerk. Yeah, I miss my night tears from earlier. Come on, Poe. I kind of feel... I kind of feel that I've actually exposed myself too much more than I intended, so... You bad your heart. Literary necessity. What am I saying? Why not? I'll complete the mistake. You will? This is Poe. He is not very self-aware. Oh my gosh, Poe, why? I didn't need that. Are you close? Don't you have school to go to? Get dressed! Hmm, for some reason I feel quite a bit better suddenly. Like when something you don't understand just sort of clicks. Oh, that probably just makes me much more weird. Blah, big game. I don't like you might need to vent some more. Okay, man? Tell me things. I... um... um... No, I'm okay. It's nice to hear that someone cares. Even if you are a complete stranger. It's a nice feeling. I'm enjoying this conversation. I feel like I could stay up all night chatting with you. Saying whatever I want. Planning about dumb romance books. Their main characters. Their love interest. Actually, speaking of which, I'll explain a little more about what's bugging me about this book I'm reading. Specifically the assignment I need to do. The professor wants us to write a new scene using the characters as inspiration. Like a fanfic! <laughs> yeah, fanfiction. She's getting us to write fanfiction. She's insane. <laughs> Best professor ever. Yes, I'd be like, fanfiction. Yes, thank you. I do write fanfiction. Okay, it's been a long time, but I do write fanfiction. I respectfully disagree. I'm garbage for that kind of expositional nonsense. Not to mention the, the maltzy tone I'm supposed to ascribe. I just, how am I supposed to write this? I don't connect with the subject matter at all, even if I want to. Oh, truthfully, I've never actually wrote any romance fanfiction, so yeah, I probably have trouble with that too. It's all been more... drama, no romance. Your poetry's on point, why not use it as a starting point? <laughs> Pretend I'm the love interest, write to me. What would you say? Well, that's a long response time. Maybe he's typing. Typing it all out. Alright, let's see. Hmm, you really do remind me of them. Uh-oh. I gotta wait 24 more hours. Why? Why, game? Why? Ferris back, yes. Unsec, waiting for Ryan the intern to leave the room. Oh no, why? Why are you waiting for someone to leave the room? Here. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, okay, that's not bad. Just sitting in your chair. 
I can't read that back there. I was trying to, but it's hard to read. I like his art. It looks good. Oh, okay, he's writing. One more set of bedroom eyes just for you. No banana this time. I wouldn't quite call that bedroom eyes, but maybe I just don't know what to look for. I'll treasure this forever. Sure. Yeah, I like that Ferris is more tame than Bo's. I will do. Good. Thanks for bringing a little sunshine to our crops. Survey's complete. And this means I made my quota. Good job. I now qualify for new office chair. Now I have two chairs. Why do you need two chairs? Just one more to go. Okay. Good, Good luck. Have fun. Go chairs. My name is Ferris, and it's been my pleasure chatting with you. Take care, love. Take care, Ferris. It was fun to chat with you, too. Alright, so I think the only one I haven't finished is Poe. I mean, he's the newest one, so that makes sense. Let's take William on a coaster ride. How many points is it? Is it five. Okay. Let's take this job off for now. Oh, William, let's go on a coaster 40 times. Oh, what's he saying? Just a heads up. I'm not the domestic variety of sheep. I have very much have the most random urge to headbutt things. I'll headbutt my mama right now, and she's probably headbutt me back. Oh, my, don't headbutt your mama. Oh, look at that smile. You've got the glint of happiness. <laughs> don't mind me, and I was just mugging for the camera. <laughs> okay. Good job, you were definitely taking a nice picture. Let's go on 40 roller coaster rides. Maybe it's just like you have a long time there, you're just going on all the rides you can find and having fun. Hey, how's it going? Look at your stats, now look at me, back to your stats, back to me. Oh, those stats aren't quite enough for me, but if you keep up the hard work, they could be. Oh, like that Old Spice commercial. Bah. I am a ram. Bah. I got a diamond for William. And unlocked when there's a will. Time to charge into the day. Oh, it's not enough. 42 creative. I think I'm working creative right now. And cough syrup savior pharmacist. Well, looks like it's gonna go over here now. Let's see. Take this off. Take this off. I still need points, so. Alrighty. Alright, you little mix. Let's see what you're about. Oh, he wants boat rides. A whole lot of boat rides. Look at him, he's playing the little ukulele. That's pretty cute. You know, I really haven't done enough singing to my date in a boat for my liking. Wanna go again? Oh, you're excited. Yes, let's go again then. That's cute. Oh, my character's all happy just singing. Alright, 100 complete. You're strangely good at this, like, you've already made friends with a bunch of other guys under similar circumstances and there's not much resistance to your progress. <laughs> that laugh. I was totally just guessing, but that look on your face tells me everything I need to know, which is cool. Glad to hear I'm working with an expert. <laughs> that blush is kind of scary, but okay. You take Mix to the only park within reasonable walking distance. He's singing about frogs with hats or something, but he interrupts his song to say, Hey, you should know that. Now that I'm singing the the Frog Song, you and I are friends. Can't deny the power of the frog song. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, there's a smile. Love it. The song continues and you feel great. Aw, that's cute. The frog song. I'm gonna hear the frog song now. I'm gonna eat level 41 creative. Okay, that's not bad. I started writing a song about how... This all has made me feel. But then I started rapping about butts and promptly forgot the lyrics. Butts, am I right? <laughs> cans? No one's won at cans before. You want a whole lot of cans? Give you, oh, okay. Give you like a million cans and you should be good. Boom. Nice. Nice! You don't have to buy me all this swag, but well, I'm not gonna say no, am I? Guess not. So creative. Gonna take 
five days, but I mean, he takes forever anyway, so it's fine. And you need Observant to actually unlock you. I'd like to unlock him. What is my uh, bonus 12.05? I mean, I have a high bonus of 214, but it feels like it doesn't do anything. I'm trying to get diamonds. The only way to do that, other than the events, is to get them higher up on their level. So let's do that. Let's work on that. Did I got to buy Eli here? a vacuum for some reason. You want Oi. a billion games for trillions of dollars. Mitri! That cologne's way too high, actually. <laughs> I could afford it, actually. Whoa. Well, no. Shipping. Is there shipping? Where's the shipping? Okay. I'm happy, though. I might actually give him those if I actually reach Observant level 45. Scared. Ah. You are not getting a laptop from me. Not today. Uh -huh. Off syrup savior. Okay. <laughs> that laugh was creepy, but alright. It was kind of cute. Alright, then I'm going to end this episode here. I'm actually surprised I'm recording it pretty much after Poe just came out. So, let it for that and I hopefully we'll upload it soon. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick episode of Blush Flush. And hope you have an awesome day. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Bye.